I think the thing that makes Jacob and Christine such a wonderful couple is that they've gone through a lot of obstacles together with COVID. And they've just really shown a lot of love and support for each other. They bring out the best in each other. He has always included me in everything that he does and just been just a tremendous older brother in terms of helping teach me, helping include me in things, helping me to become the man that I am today as well. He's very adventurous, he's very driven. Um, I think he's just one of those people that any kind of person is drawn to him. She's just a loving, warm, energetic, outgoing, beautiful person. Thank you for this opportunity. This is your blessing. And we thank time for everybody who is assembled here today. We come into the presence of Almighty God on this very special day. We gather to celebrate this very special couple and honor their love and their marriage publicly. James and Christine were joined in marriage in a beautiful private Zoom ceremony 694 days ago. So today it is time to rejoice together in what this relationship has become. Marriage is not the invention of man. It's the invention of God. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. I, Jacob, take you, Christine, before God and these witnesses, before God and these witnesses, to be my beloved wife, to be my beloved wife. I, Christine, take you, Jacob, before God and these witnesses, before God and these witnesses, to be my beloved husband, to be my beloved husband. With this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Among the Kerala Christians, the Minu, is a significant reminder of that covenant. It symbolizes the bond of marriage as it reflects Christ's love for his bride, the church. The minu is placed on a string composed of seven strands of thread from the mantra Kodi. Christine will wear this necklace for the rest of her life as a symbol of the marriage and of their love. The mantra Kodi, which means garment of prayers, is a sari given as a gift from the groom to his bride. It reminds us all of the church wearing their garments of righteousness prepared by the Lord Jesus Christ. John writes in Revelation 19, she will be given a wedding dress made of pure and shining linen. This linen stands for the good things that God's people have done. be a day of celebration and of joy and of hope in life. I pronounce you very much still husband and wife <laughs> in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You've given sacred vows before each other and before many witnesses, but most importantly before a holy God. What God has joined together, let no man separate.